What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Brentford post-match analysis and reaction video and Arna Slot is absolutely fantastic. The playing style, the fluid, magical, mesmerizing, attacking, one-touch football is just beautiful to watch and I'm really, really excited about this new Arna Slot era. Liverpool are as dangerous going forward as we were under Jurgen Klopp but we have a much more controlled possession and Liverpool actually broke a record today because Liverpool completed 92% of their passes which is Liverpool's best passing accuracy since Opta stats began recording this statistic in 2003. So that is a Premier League record for Liverpool, 92% pass accuracy, absolutely brilliant. And also Luis Diaz was my man of the match, but Gravenbeck was also fantastic. So we will analyze the tactics and everything, but let me know what is your overall impression of Arna Slot's new look Liverpool. Leave your thoughts down below. And what are your expectations this season? I, wa I said before the season, I want Liverpool to qualify for the Champions League. I think we should be in third place, pushing Arsenal and Man City as much as possible. But I also want Liverpool to do a cup run. So go deep in the Champions League, the FA Cup or the League Cup. Uh, I don't really care about those competitions because Liverpool have a smaller squad. But Luis Diaz scored after a Brentford corner and what a brilliant counter-attack it was. Um, somebody cleared from the Brentford corner and then Salah uh, flicks the ball on and then Luis Diaz races clear. He makes a brilliant run first to the outside and then in the inside and Jota releases him perfectly. Diaz takes a couple of touches. He's just so quick, so much faster than all the defenders. And Luis Diaz with his weaker left foot blasts it home into the near post. Absolutely brilliant finish and this was the Luis Diaz that we know and love. The guy who turned up to preseason, scored two goals against Sevilla and Luis Diaz was the man of the match today because not only did he get a goal but he got the assist before Mo Salah's second goal. But honestly, how did Liverpool not score more than the two goals? Because again, we had 20 shots, 9 shots on target, created like 2.8 xG, 2 more than Brentford's XG. Again, Liverpool kept Brentford pretty quiet and Brentford are a very good team, very solid. And remember that under Jurgen Klopp we uh, lost so many balls when we made risky passes, which is fine, but Liverpool conceded like seven like big chances from lost balls in these type of games, uh, usually in these two games. Of course, the real test will be the Man United Liverpool game, but I'm already really looking forward to it and hopefully Liverpool can break their Old Trafford hoodoo because it's notoriously one of the toughest grounds to go to and win but I have full faith in Honest Lord that he will cook up some brilliant tactics because he's a great coach, a great manager and Liverpool pretty much dominated most of the second half. The first half was more even, both teams had five shots each but Liverpool scored from a counter-attack, Bradford were very cagey but the second half, the Liverpool's combination play was honestly mwah, chef's kiss, absolutely brilliant. And Liverpool, I won't say they are title contenders, but I think Liverpool made a much better start than everybody expected. Not because of their results necessarily, because I said that Liverpool need to win four of the first five games. We need to beat Ipswich, Brentford, and after Man United, I think we play um, Nottingham Forest and uh, Southampton or something like that. But uh, really, like games that we should win. But I think the way Liverpool play, the clear patterns, the clear style of play, and Arneslot is a, has a very strict, very clear identity of football that he wants to see and I think Liverpool even though in the first halves against Ipswich and Brentford you saw that uh, you know it wasn't all fluid the second half Liverpool were so much more fluid and I didn't expect this this good football this early on in the Arneslot era I knew that we would play some exciting attacking football throughout the season but I expected Arneslot to maybe uh, that need, he need more time to get the Liverpool players in tune with what exactly he wanted. But the Liverpool players are so intelligent, so smart and Arneslot is giving uh, them very clear instructions, very clear 
tactics and I absolutely love it how Liverpool are playing and how Liverpool played today. Dominic Sovoslai, my fellow Hungarian countryman, was absolutely electric. Salah had a pretty quiet first half, but the second half he came into life and he was fantastic as well. Jota got the assist before the Luis Diaz goal and Liverpool were so unlucky not to score more. Gagbo hit the bar, Trenor Aksuanot hit the bar. Uh, Jota's chance should have gone in. Honestly, on another day, Liverpool could have scored four or five goals. And I feel that this is now Liverpool's best team, what they played uh, today. Of course, we would need to rotate after the international break. But also, with this more controlled, more measured approach to games will serve Liverpool very well. Because under Jurgen Klopp, we played at um, 100 miles an hour. Even when we were 2 0 up and cruising, Liverpool threw men forward constantly because that's what Jurgen Klopp required and that was Jurgen Klopp's style. And Liverpool, have, because of this uh, great possession style that uh, Arne Slot is using, Liverpool exert probably a lot less energy and it's less taxing on the players. You get what I mean? We had 62% possession, but uh, you know, when we are in possession, passing the ball around, the Liverpool players can rest a little bit uh, easier and uh, this uh, style, I think, will help Liverpool get less injuries. I still would want FSG to make some signings because I think Liverpool not signing a defensive midfielder long term during the season we will uh, miss that for sure but i think uh, right now liverpool look absolutely fantastic and also to start the season with two clean sheets is is absolutely fantastic and also liverpool have the highest xg 5.3 across these two games uh, combined and we have the lowest xg conceded just 0.8 so we conceded less than one xg in two games combined and by the way if you say oh it's because it's only ipswich and Brentford last season even though Liverpool beat Brentford 3-0 Brentford had an XG of 1.7 at Anfield so that clearly shows that Jurgen Klopp, the Jurgen Klopp's team gave up a lot more chances to the opposition because of this uh, relentless attacking uh, play that we threw men forward constantly and I also wanted to comment that Trenox Arnold looked a little bit upset that he got substituted which I can't understand because Liverpool were absolutely purring we were so so good so comfortable Trent was also fantastic some of his balls were absolutely magical and it was just unlucky that nobody converted any of Trent's chances but Arneslot went over to Trent and he had the chat he explained to Trenox Arnold why he uh, got taken off and we need to manage Trenox Arnold he can't play every minute of every game and we also have Connor Bradley who is a fantastic very energetic right back who also needs minutes who also needs to play and Arneslot still gives Trenox Arnold uh, a lot of freedom in attack to play his passes to make his runs defensively Trent is also tucking in back to his right back spot a lot more than on the Jurgen Klopp. Sometimes on the Jurgen Klopp, Trent went so much way forward that Konate basically had to defend the whole of the Liverpool right-hand side. And I think this was very well handled by Arne Slot, who is not, a, you know, a father figure like Jurgen Klopp. He's not a manager who goes over to players, hugs them all the time, and who is full of emotion. Arne Slot is maybe between Rafa Benitez and uh, Jurgen Klopp in that uh, he's a lot more analytical, a lot more more like measured but he's much better as a man manager than Rafa Benitez because that was Rafa Benitez's biggest weakness that he just didn't manage the players well he didn't talk to them well uh, he was very cold very ruthless Arneslot is also ruthless but he's not cold he's pretty warm to the players as well so yeah that's it that's my match review for the Liverpool Brentford game let me know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this have a nice day see you later goodbye